Dean. Good morning. You ready for breakfast? Good morning. Look at you, Mr. Content on the shower perch. You ready? Show everybody how you do when the water turns on. Ready, ready? Here we go. Here we go. Oh, what a good boy. What a good boy, Bean. Yeah, yeah. He's like barely even getting touched, the water's there. <laughs> But awesome bathing response, because you're doing so good. All right, after shower shenanigans, you did so good as usual. So, a little bit wet. We still haven't gotten drenched or anything, but I mean, he's handling it all so good. He lets me clean off the side bit with my squeegee tool thingy. And he doesn't get freaked out. Like, he's doing awesome, guys. I'm super proud. Super duper proud. You ready to go? Go hang out on tree. Good boy. Let's put you on this one. So it is 48 degrees outside and raining and somebody still wants to go out. Gonna try a training session with Bean. It's a little antsy this morning. A little antsy this morning, huh? I feel like you are. Bean, do you remember this? Good job. This doesn't want to focus on you, does it? Let's move it over here. There we go. Is it better? Good job. You are slow poking today. I don't think I'm gonna get much of a training session. So I think what I'm gonna to try to do instead is a crate training session. So I'm gonna go grab the crate. Gotta get this door to stay open though. Come on over. Made you a difficult area, huh? Good boy. It's okay. You don't want to? Okay, hold on. Hold on. We gonna go on top of this? No? Pretty scared of it. Okay, that's fine. Good job. We're just hanging out by it. You know what I think is gonna be the most effective? need to give you your favorite breakfast. Can you eat a little bit right there? Good job. All right, so I think this is just gonna work better is instead of using formal training like I normally would with targeting and stuff, I'm gonna try and just see if he'll just get used to 
desensitizing himself, <clears throat> getting comfortable like that. So you can see he's really hesitant. So I might need to move it back where we just succeeded. <clears throat> One of the things he really needs to learn is that that door isn't going to shut on him. He's not going to be trapped in there or stuck in there. And he can grab big bites of that food and then step out if he wants to do it that way. Good job, Bean. Good job. Do you want a nut? Nope, he really loves this food, so I think he views it more as a treat than nuts. Want a pie nut? There you go. Doing awesome. You're being super brave. Oh, he dropped the nut. You don't want it? Should you move this out a little bit? Good job. Yeah, you don't want that nut. You want the fresh food. Good job. That seems to be the sweet spot. Seems to be where he's really, really comfortable. He'll just stay here and eat. I'm gonna push it in a little bit. Good job, Bean. You're still comfortable there, so that's awesome. loves his breakfast so that's why I switched gears and I'm doing it this way is because he views his breakfast as the best positive reinforcement so serving it to him like this is going to be key and I'll probably have to do the same thing for dinner but might just start with once a day with a breakfast I mean this is pretty amazing I thought based on how he was day one that I would have to desensitize him just by having the carrier in view or something and work from there but this is where he's comfortable at, so. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna see if he'll let me move the door at all. Yeah, it doesn't necessarily care about that. I'm gonna continue to pin it open so it doesn't sabotage our first training session. But yeah, so when he is done, Piggy will get to just walk away from it. Hey guys, I wanted to film a little bit of a confessional about that crate training session that you saw and just kind of talk about it, basically. Some of the things that I feel like I did right, some of the things I feel like I could have done a lot better. For example, when I first uh, set it all up for him and I gave him this tiny little walkway to kind of make it across, it was not ideal, especially from a bird who's not really showing a lot of enthusiasm training in the first place. Treats. Mmm, treats are kind of questionable. Yes, he takes treats, but they don't have as much high value as his normal diet, which is whack. This is the first time I've ever experienced this with a bird where they love 
the healthy diet so much more than anything else. Um, so anyways, that's why I decided to pick him up and, and set him there. That's when I really figured out that being in that area was not comfortable. And I just kind of wanted to point out the, the difference in body language between when Bean was incredibly hesitant versus when he didn't really alter in his footsteps of going forward and his momentum of going forward and finding those boundaries, finding having it at this spot is too close and too easy and having it at this spot is too far and not gonna get anywhere because he's too scared. And so you really have to find that sweet spot and play with that and see how much hesitancy am I getting from the bird versus confidence. Cause you wanna build confidence, but you can't do that without pushing that little boundary. Um, but you definitely don't wanna go way past it. That's kind of why you saw me uh, put the bull in and then pull the bull out and then push it in a little bit and push a little bit. I was just trying to find that sweet spot of where that is for Bean and it was really cool. The other thing I'm guessing you guys are probably wondering is why I didn't use his original crate. And I didn't because I don't know how that's ever been associated in the past. I have no idea. I don't know if it was awesome or if it's horrible. And I don't like taking the chance on that kind of stuff. When I don't know, I don't repeat. Um, so I didn't know. So I decided how about I use a carrier approximately the same size but different. It's actually one I've used on the airlines, which is why it looks all funky. Uh, so I thought that that would just be a really good clean slate, so to speak. And if I can get him used to that carrier, then I can translate that training over to different types of carriers. But I kind of want to start with clean slate. That's why I didn't use his original. Um, what else? I also just kind of wanted to point out that sometimes I go in with a goal and well, I always go in with a goal and then like we say in the family friendly parent formula, or like Dave says, training is very fluid. So I tend not to be much of a planner. I just try stuff and see what happens, <laughs> which is why Dave and I are very different trainers. Dave plans to the T and he'll write everything out. And he knows exactly what he's going for and he goes for that. I may, well, I kind of want to try this, but let's see what happens and see what I get. And I just kind of flow around what the animal is giving me. Um, so that's kind of what you saw happen here. I wanted to do touch training. I wanted to work on like a formal training session. He just wasn't as receptive or enthusiastic as I wanted him to be. So I decided, well, let's work on something that I could work in with breakfast. And that's when crate training came to mind. And then I just kind of pitter pattered around that and tried to figure out what I was doing. <laughs> I guess so to speak, it sounds so professional. Uh, but anyways, I just wanted to give you a little background on how I kind of approach things because I don't really go in with a plan. And for some people that works, for me, I feel like it works. Um, for some people, you guys gotta plan out your sessions, decide what you're doing on re your repetitions, figure out your ABCs to a T so that you know exactly um, what consequences you're gonna be implementing after things. But um, for me, I'm a non, a non planner. So <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what you kinda got here. Anyways, I hope you guys gained a lot out of this. Keep in mind when you're watching the Bean series, I hope you guys are picking up the fact that training and working on things isn't every single day. That's why I made sure that when you knew that I was working on bathing, you saw how many days were in between each session. So it's not a every single day, very regulated type of thing. It's when I feel it, <laughs> to be honest, I just, I just do what I feel. You guys know how I am with all the feels. So if you watched any of the Morgan series, I talk about the feels often and that's uh, what goes into my training. I just, I feel it out as it goes. If it feels right, I do it. If it doesn't, I don't. <laughs>